Hi, my name is Samantha Tab. This is my module one video introduction for AEP 858. Um, a little bit about um, myself. I have two kids. Uh, my daughter is Kendall, who's nine, and then my son Peyton just turned five a couple days ago. We also have a great Dane who is five, who is almost six years old. And then, of course, I have to add Taylor Swift into anything because I love her. Uh, we currently live in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and have lived here for almost two years. Um, my hobbies include anything sports related, anything outside, anything that has to do with uh, my friends and fun movies. Uh, I love the Chiefs and the Royals. Camping, snowboarding, hiking. I guess you could say right now I'm pretty miserable with all this quarantine. Um, professionally though, I got my undergrad at Missouri State University in Springfield. I student taught in Ozark, Missouri in fourth grade. I did, uh, when I, right after I graduated, I instantly moved to Kansas um, and I taught kindergarten there for two years and then moved to Colorado. So now I'm on my second year of first grade. So I've been teaching for four years um, and now I'm in grad school at Fort Hayes State University. When I talk about goals, I obviously lump them into short term and long term. Um, my short term goals are that I want to stay in the classroom. I do want to move up grades, uh, do third for a couple of years, fifth for a couple of years. I've also thought about teaching uh, specials. Technology would be one that I would like the most probably. Um, and then I obviously go into long term goals. I would love to be an instructional coach and then um, an assistant principal and uh, then become a professional development coordinator for a district somewhere. Um, I don't necessarily have a long-term goal of becoming a principal, but um, I do like to, I'm in the program to understand more. Um, why do I want to become an educational professional? Well, I'm passionate about education. I'm passionate about students. Um, I love to learn from and about other people. I like to learn about myself. I like to learn um, the different parts of the jobs and the jobs of education so that I can become more relatable in the profession. Um, in order to become a principal, I feel like I would need to have different um, professional duties as far as like, have I taught testing grades? Have I taught primary? Do I know about middle school? Anything like that. I would like to be relatable so that when I am talking, it's from experience and not just what I assume. Um, also, I want to be able to give grace to others because I've had that personal experience. Um, and then I would like to help um, better educational experiences because of my personal and professional experience. So I just want all the experiences and I want to be able to help people and talk from experience. Um, when it comes to data tracking for our school and our district, they, we, we do have a lot to work on. Um, we use Dibble's reading data um, to form our out of classroom intervention groups. And then we do uh, progress monitor students every two weeks. Then when we have our PLCs, one of the PLCs is dedicated to updating our cards that are in our data den. Um, and then the cards are sorted by color. Um, and there's like a number reference, so then it aligns with a color. And then you put all your cards back up to see the growth or the stagnancy or, um, and then we kind of talk about kids from there. Um, also, our district does our math fluency in addition and subtraction to 20 in the first grade. Um, and we do that three times a year, beginning, middle, or end. I don't necessarily think that that um, helps instruct my, helps change my instructional decisions just because I do know that they need um, a strong foundation in math as far as um, addition and subtraction in order to move on to second grade and third grade where you learn multiplication. Um, when it comes to myself and my use of data tracking, I like to use all data to inform um, in my instruction, definitely um, my informal and independent work. So we do um, ST Math 60 minutes a week and then Lexia for whatever prescribed minutes the student needs. And then I take a lot of that data because I do think that it's important to know what they can do independently. Um, because sometimes our informal or small group um, perception of what students know is not always right. Um, so I do take their independent work, like if they need help with middle sounds or anything like that. And I form my small groups because we do a lot of small group work in our school, which I think is great. Um, and so I take a lot of the observations and formal testing every once in a while. Um, as far as dibbles, I take that into account every once in a while. But um, we do know our students the best as classroom teachers. 
um, my plan to go forward as far as like how I'm going to enhance my data tracking or data knowledge. I plan to learn from my peers at all times when it comes to data and the usage of data to inform instruction. Um, from this class, my coworkers, PLCs and professional developments. I plan to do a significant amount of reading because I do have a lot of time to do a lot of reading now. Um, I plan to also do my own research. If something intrigues me or I don't necessarily agree with something, I'm going to back it up with um, some other data to either change my mind or <laughs> reinforce what I already know. And then I also plan to continue and implement um, student data tracking. They all track their own data and their units and uh, ST Math and Lexia. Um, and then we show this on Fridays to the whole class. I do plan to still do that even though we are doing e-learning. Um, it just helps promote motivation and there's a little bit of competition. So I do think that they are more motivated when there's a little bit, when there's something to win. Um, other than that, thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a good day.